Shalom, Yeladim. It's good to see everyone today. We are going to get started with our morning mifkash. So come over, take a seat or stand wherever you're most comfortable, and we're going to get started. Ready? Shalom, Yeladim. Shalom, Yeladim. Shalom. Shalom. We're so glad you're here. We're so glad you're here. Shalom. Shalom. Okay, Yeladim, let's see who's awake today. Boker Tov, Yeladim. Oh my goodness, it's so good to hear all of your voices. I'm so happy to see all of you today. We are going to get started with our counting six. Because of our activity I'm going to do with you today, I'm not going to do the names. We are just going to count. So we have Riley. We have Riley. Naomi, Maya, Sophie, Brooklyn, Charlie R, Charlie K, Leo, Jackson, Itsy, Ellie, Esme, Natalie, and Noga. Okay, did you bring 15 things to count today? Perfect, okay, we're gonna all count along together. Okay, let's see. Sorry, guys. Mrs. Steinler is doing the video today on her phone instead of her computer, and you will see why in just a second. So I'm trying to get them set up so I don't have to move my phone. Okay, ready? We're going to get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, oh, I'm missing one. I'm missing a stick. Who's missing here? I'm missing Max's stick. Oh no, oh, we're missing Max's stick, that's 15. Do you know what that means? That means Chase and Charlie got into Mrs. Steinler's counting sticks. So I'm sorry, Max, but we have 15 of you today. Okay, I know that was tricky. That threw me off. So yesterday on our Zoom call with our class, we talked about the spring and what we see outside when it's spring. And you guys came up with wonderful, wonderful answers. And so what I did is I took your answers and I made a scavenger hunt out of those answers. So I'm going to show you what I did. Looks like, I don't know if I'll be able to turn this around. Um, so I made a scavenger hunt with the first thing that someone said was the leaves were coming up, that it was rainy, that there could be rain in the spring, that the trees and bushes can be hummed or trimmed, that there are growing flowers, that there are baby birds in the bird's nest, that there's green grass, that it's getting warmer and there's sunshine. And also we talked about some birds that we're seeing. We're seeing cardinals, which is that red bird, and the red is the boy bird, and the brown is the girl bird. And robins, those birds with the black gray backs and the brown bellies, and there are worms outside. So today, we are gonna go on a scavenger hunt and see what we can find. Now, I am just realizing that I can't flip this camera back around. So this might be a little bit trickier for you to see what I see than I thought. So we're gonna take a walk, and it's okay if you don't find everything on your list. You can go on the scavenger hunt too. I gave this list, I sent it to your mommies and your daddies. So you can use this list too and go on a scavenger hunt. 
Now, we're gonna see how many we can find. I don't know what we're gonna find, but I'm excited to see. Okay, so the first thing on my list that I actually see is leaves coming up. So right outside on this tree, do you guys see that? There are leaves that are starting to come up on this kind of like a bushy tree over here. So I found some leaves and the next thing on my list that I see are trees and bushes that could be trimmed because the trees and the bushes have grown so much over the winter and we haven't done anything with them so maybe you have someone come to your house or maybe you or your family trims them. So here's a bush that's getting very big that might need some trimming. Do you guys see it? Crazy big bush. Okay. Also on my list, I see growing flowers. Now Mrs. Steinler and Chase and Charlie over the fall planted some bulbs, some tulip bulbs to grow and now they are finally just coming up. So I'm gonna share them with you so you can see. So these are the flowers that are coming up at my house. You see all those tulips coming up? Some of them are already up. And actually, they're some of my favorite flowers over this way. They're called the Lily of the Valley. And I grew up with them in my backyard. And they were my mom's favorite flower. And now they are my favorite flower. And I'm really excited because they are starting to come up and they smell so good. So we're gonna peek in there. And let's see. Do you guys see those white little flowers hiding in there? Those are called Lily of the Valley. They're very, very tiny flowers, but they smell so good. Or at least Mrs. Stein might think so. Okay, up. Oh, I see another thing on the list. Someone said that the grass gets green and that it grows and we have to cut it. So I'm gonna show you some green grass that is growing. Here's all the green grass that's growing. Now this grass, Mr. Steinler cut just a couple days ago, but I'll have to cut it again. So if you see over here, there's some grass that could be cut. This grass is a little bit taller. Okay, let's see what else we can find on our list. Well, someone said that it rains in the spring, and that is very true, it does rain. And in fact, it rained last night, and it rained earlier today. So, while I don't see any actual rain right now, I do see a rain puddle. And I bet there are more of those puddles to be found too. Okay. Now someone also said that it's getting warmer in spring and today's a little bit chilly and the sky, if you can see, is kind of gray today. But maybe on the day you do the scavenger hunt, you'll get some sunshine, which will be nice. But it is warming up. I'm wearing a light coat and over the winter, do you know how many coats Mrs. Steinler wears at one time? I wear two coats and a sweater or sweatshirt because I get cold. Okay, let's see, what did we miss on this page? Um, baby birds and a baby bird or a bird's nest now I hear the birds I don't know if you can hear the birds last year we had a robin's nest right in our tree the one that I showed you that the leaves coming out but then after the baby birds hatched I don't know what happened but the nest fell out of the tree and I was really hoping the baby the mommy and daddy bird would come back and build it again because it was so fun to watch them in their nest, but they haven't come back. So I am looking for a nest. I see a squirrel's nest, which is a lot bigger than a bird's nest. Let me see if I can get it so that you guys can see up there all the way to the squirrel's nest. Squirrel's nests are 
a lot bigger. They're not always with the sticks and a circle like a bird's nest. Let's see if you guys can see this. Uh, I'm trying to see. Sorry. Up. Oh, so if you see right up there, right there, that is a squirrel's nest. So I didn't find a bird's nest. I would love to find a bird's nest. Really loud. Sorry, there's a really loud car that just went by. Okay, what else? Okay, the other things on our list I'm gonna try to see is if I can find robins or cardinals or a worm. So now I'm on a hunt to find these types of birds and animals. Now I have to tell you, those animals, come into my backyard all the time. And Chase and Charlie love pointing out all the robins. I think that there's a robin's nest nearby because we found a robin's eggshell, which is a bluish color on our lawn. So we think it came from the tree, which must be above us, but we can't see it. So I'm sneaking into my backyard. which of course I don't see any right now. I hear them all over though. Hmm, what else could we see? I'm also wondering if there are any worms out. I saw a robin pull out a really big worm out of our grass the other day and it was eating it up. So I'm looking at our mud. I know Chase yesterday found a worm, but he was digging for them. I'm trying to see if any worms are actually out and about today so I don't have to dig for them. Do you like digging for worms? I know some of you do. Hmm, I'm not as good as a robin as finding these bird, I mean these worms. Okay. Do you guys have worms in your backyard at all? I know that one day it rained and my friend told me that she had worms all over her front step by her door. There were so many worms. Also, I found other things that were on our list, like more flowers coming up. So these are more tulips, and look, this tulip already came up. We planted all these tulips around our tree. Look at some of the colors. You can see we have a red and orange tulip, a pink tulip, lots of pretty tulips. It's so fun to plant something and then being able to watch it grow. I'm trying to see what I might be able to find. What are you guys finding on your scavenger hunt? Are there things on our list that you see outside? Are there things not on our list that you see outside that maybe we could add to our list? Something that Chase and Charlie are really into right now. They keep finding pine cones on the ground, which they're very excited about. They have a whole pine cone collection and a whole rock collection and a stick collection. We go on lots of nature walks. They collect a, a lot of these things. Of course, these birdies aren't coming out to me right now. Okay, we're gonna go check the front and see what we can see. I hear them. Do you guys hear the birds chirping when you're outside? You know what, actually I wanna show you something. Something that you're gonna see a lot of this spring is a flower, it's actually a weed, it's called a dandelion. And they start out as a yellow flower See if I can find the yellow flower for you or if they've all turned already. Oh, here's one. So dandelions are these yellow flowers here and they grow in the grass and they start out as this yellow flower and then they close back up and they open again and this is what they are. And I bet you know what you can do with this. Do you know what you can do with this? You can make a wish 
and take a big breath and blow. Some of them are coming off. Do you see? They blow away. And so these are seeds that you're blowing off. And then the seeds go and they plant themselves in the grass and then they make more dandelions. So, up. Oh, Robin just flew away from me. Let me see. I didn't catch it in time though for you guys to see it. Let me sneak over there. Let's see if he'll come down. He just flew up into a tree. I hear lots of birdies. What kind of birds do you guys have by your house? Or do you guys see a lot of squirrels or bunnies? We saw a bunny yesterday jumping in and out of the playhouse that we have. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get you. Okay, so it's very hard to see. Up, oh, it just flew away. I don't know if you could even see it. It was hard to see, but there was a robin up there. Man, usually there are like always three in my backyard because I think they must be a family. There's always three big ones hopping around together. Okay, Yelladeem. Well, that was so fun getting to go on the scavenger hunt with you. If you go on a scavenger hunt, feel free to take pictures of what you find and share them with me. I would love to see what you find or let me know if you find something that wasn't on our list. We created this big long list of great things that we see in the spring, but I know there are more things out there that we didn't think to put on our list. So I would love to hear what other ideas you have of things to put on our spring list. Okay, Yaladim, have a wonderful day. Shalom.